Hey everyone, welcome to my teeny tiny office. If you've never been on a bridge meeting with me of some kind, a WebEx call or a Zoom call or whatever it happens to be, or Microsoft Teams, and you've never joined me here in my office, I always like to say that my office, I can't lie down in my own office. Uh, in this direction, I've got maybe, I don't know, let's say eight feet or so, but this way, side to side, Maybe like four and a half to five feet. Literally, I can't even lie down in my own office, but this is where the magic takes place. So uh, thanks for joining me here today. A couple of things I want to let you know about in this week's newsletter, which is coming up on Tuesday, as it does each Tuesday afternoon. Uh, first of all, we are 30 days away from launch on January 11th, which just amazes me. Keep an eye on your email. We're going to be sending out a save the date and an invitation to the book launch party on January 11th very, very soon. I would love to see you there. And if not, I would love to see you here on Facebook. Meanwhile, I have sent out some invitations for Book Sirens downloads to a number of you. I am hoping that you will get a chance to download and read the book and leave a review on Book Sirens. I will then ask you to transfer that review over to Amazon on January 11th when the book goes live. I will be sending out another announcement this week for a Goodreads giveaway. We are going to give away 100 copies of the ebook to lucky Goodreads readers. So if you'd like to get in on that, Again, keep an eye on your email, and I will send that out to you very, very soon. If you would like to reach out to me and sign up for the mailing list, please do. You can find that at the brand new website, CorporateStorytelling.com. Very excited about it. My friend Amy Silvestrak out in San Diego did an amazing job putting that site together for me, so thank you so much, Amy. Uh, last things that I want to mention... Pre-orders, super important. Some of you have contacted me to, to say, hey, no paperback. Why is Amazon not selling the paperback? Here's the answer. We don't know. Uh, it was listed on the pre-order that you could buy either paperback or Kindle or audiobook. All of a sudden, poof, the paperback went away. We do not know why, but we are working with Amazon to figure out why they are saying not currently available. We don't know if it will be available again. It will be available on Amazon starting January 11th on the launch date of the book. Meanwhile, if you would like the paperback now for pre-order, barnesandnoble.com. You can get it there. Same price, no shipping costs, so you don't have to worry about not being able to use your Amazon Prime membership. So again, reach out and check that out. All right, last thing that we're going to do here today, I'm going to do a very, very short reading. This is the galley copy of the book, which I did the unboxing on. You can see all the little dog-eared pages. I made over 400, over 400 minor changes, little tiny tweaks, a word here or there, punctuation. The book launcher's team hates my guts right now for doing that this late in the game, but I wanted to make sure that it was perfect before it goes out. I'm going to read you a very, very brief section from chapter six. The title of this is about titles. Your title is your promise. I'm going to share a very brief reading with you in advance. The title and abstract that you submit in proposal for your topic, it has several different tasks that it needs to accomplish, beginning with getting your talk selected for inclusion at an event or at a conference. Most speakers choose a title that is highly clinical and very obvious, but a little effort in this opening point of contact can and should achieve so much more. As I like to say in my coaching programs, your title is vital. The title of your talk is an offer of value on which you promise to deliver. It's your proposition that if someone wisely chooses to attend your talk, perhaps even over someone else's, they are guaranteed to receive a specific set of tangible benefits that warrant their investment in you. If your talk is going to be part of a larger conference or a symposium, your title is also a promise to the event selection committee that they should add your topic to their program instead of another competing submission. So you owe that committee the best possible session because it will ultimately reflect on them as much as it does on you. Too many speakers submit a proposed talk, get selected, and then move it to the back burner until the last minute. That is unfair and unprofessional. The moment your session is included, it deserves your full attention and a commitment to excellence. You made a promise of value that you are now responsible for fulfilling. Only submit a title you actually want to deliver, one you are proud of and excited to share. Anything less undervalues you as a speaker 
disrespects the time and dedication of your audience, and abuses the trust bestowed on you by your event hosts. And it all starts with your session title. Like I said, I was going to keep it nice and short. Thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate it. Please go buy the book. Please leave a review, whether it's on Book Sirens or on Goodreads, and I'll ask you to transfer those reviews over to Amazon on January 11th. Thank you, thank you, thank you all for your early support on this exciting project. I'll see you next Tuesday. Bye-bye.